preached because according to your word, you said that marriage is honorable in all. We pray a special prayer for this couple that you give them the power to trust you when times get hard. That they will have the grace to withstand, patience to endure. I pray, Father, that you bless them as they gain a closer walk with you in the midst of haters, home wreckers, backbiters, and every enemy that comes to try to destroy them. God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we cancel the assignment of the enemy. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't wife material. You're a royal priesthood, queen, imperial. Be who God made you to be with no apology. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. That's called kingdom biology. God says, acknowledge me, acknowledge me. Put him first before you let any man get to your psychology. You're a price far above rubies. It's not the price tag, it's the quality. God wants to invade your space where your logic be with heavenly ecology. You're not limited to a pay wage, family, background, environment, or where your college be. So don't be defined by bazillion weave in cosmetology. Generosities of grace shall abound you. Favor goes to the man who found you. You call that good thing. Melodious note should stream from your man's heart as if he could sing. You deserve for the sting was gentlemen. Royalty don't do the hood thing. Your man is supposed to be known in the gates. That means he stands with stood kings. He's not a bum or a popper, but wait. If he got potential, don't write him off if he's between gigs. Don't rebuke the tree right away before you even seen leaves and seen figs. Just remember your worth and your worth is far above rubies. That is, if you're virtuous, so let's see if you acquired your Proverbs 31 duties. No need to listen to your miserable friends, talk shows, or any other. Turn off the phone and social media. Let's listen to Lemuel's mother. Lemuel's mother? See, that's proof you ain't read the chapter. Read the attributes of a virtuous woman and start implementing the factors. She's loyal to her man, whether he's wealthy or between blessings. She's a go-getter, an entrepreneur, and cares for a home with discretion. She opens her mouth with wisdom. Her tongue is a law of kindness. That means her mouth is not a garbage truck. She's sweet but not spineless. She's not lazy, the bread of idleness. She never felt she's confident, saying, let me do me. And let my work speak for itself. Her husband says she's hot. Her children calls her blessed. She's not a hot mess, but the best is yet to come. And she got next. I did my research on a precious jewel. So let me expound, because I found it. The jewel that shines the brightest is the one that's well-rounded. So when it comes to your career, home and ministry the word is balance be well rounded your husband has to be royalty because it's you that is crowned with cause you're virtuous moving from a virtual reality that's the virtue i'm talking about that jesus righteousness and values that's the virtue to walk in a day and not the dark as if you got a curfew to confess the king of kings lord of lords is what you need to first do your significant other should be building you up and not out to hurt you. The path you follow should not lead you to death. That's what a hurts do. If the truth is hard to swallow, then I suggest you first chew. God wants you to prosper and be in health. Third John in one, verse two. God knew you before your mom birthed you. Saw your value before anyone can match your worth to. So if you can just touch the hem of his garment, you can catch the virtue. You make Jesus look around and ask, who got the virtue? Before you call yourself virtuous far above rubies, you need the virtue. Let go of all that baggage and carrying all that stuff. That's what your purse do. Let Jesus cleanse you by drawing from his blood. That's what a nurse do. Let him cover your shame and nakedness just like a skirt and shirt do. Don't surf through life and let the enemy blind and curse you. You reap what you sow, so whatever you put out will surely reimburse you. So speak life and edify, encouraging yourself, husband and children. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. 
So are you tearing down or building? Ask a mirror upon a wall. Who's the most virtuous and it will be called? Many daughters of dumb virtuously, but thou excelleth them all.